It's time for the 1430 Connection on 1430 WNAV and 99.9 FM. Spotlighting news, newsmakers, and important community issues. Now, with this week's edition of the 1430 Connection, here is WNAV news anchor Donna Cole. Welcome to the 1430 Connection. I'm Donna Cole. In the studio with me today is Candy Nilsson. She's Anne Arundel County Police Department slash Animal Control Section Humane Education Director. She's here with her French Bulldog, Angel, who is what? A therapy dog. A therapy dog. Tell, Tell me the difference between a therapy dog and a service dog. A therapy dog is trained to work with people and children and they are basically companions they are used to ease people's anxiety Uh, they go to hospitals they go to nursing homes and in angel's case she does all that plus she is one of the few dogs that i know of that is cleared to go into the public school system Uh and she is my teaching tool so to speak okay so by the way to the listeners if you hear some grunting going on that is not candy or i that is a french bulldog at work (laughs) and in this case it's angel and so she does do a lot of grunting and i guess snoring at night as well snoring and snarfing and you know that that sort of thing that bulldogs do exactly i won't mention the back end (laughs) (laughs) yeah please don't But if you hear that sound as well, you'll know it's not me or Candy, um, I hope. Uh, At any rate, uh, Humane Education Director, I did not know up until an event that I was at that you were at as well that there isn't a Humane Education Director here in Anne Arundel County. Right, I'm a well, well hidden secret. You really are, but it's such a cool job that you do, and it is a job. It It is a job, and uh, people truly don't understand what it is that I do. Well, could you explain it? Yes. Thanks. Basically. I am the little teacher that goes into different classrooms depending on the age of the children. I teach them about animals, about kindness, about care, but most importantly, I teach them about safety because as you well know, we have many, many children that get bitten by dogs. Right, well, adults too, yeah, absolutely. Education starts young. Exactly, and that was my goal from the beginning. Uh, when I moved here from California, we I had been trained as a trainer in New York City when I worked for City, Citibank, mm-hmm. and uh, my husband and I moved to California, and when I was in California, I was a volunteer at a local children's museum, and they had a marvelous education program for children in the school system, and I came here, and we didn't have anything. And then I realized that the other counties around us, Caroline, Talbot, in Pennsylvania, in Delaware, Mm -hmm. they all had humane educators on staff. It's such a no-brainer. Exactly. We had nothing. And how how long ago is this? 1991 is when I started. All right. And I started volunteering with the SPCA. And I realized that we had nothing. So I started my campaign. Good for you. I was determined that we were going to have something. And so as long as I wanted to volunteer, I could basically do what I wanted. Mm -hmm. But I found that I was working five days a week, sometimes eight hours a day, going from school to school to school. Mm And it was exhausting, and I realized this should be a staff position. Well, I never got my staff position, but when I did go to animal control and tell them the program I was doing, they were very, very interested, very accommodating to what I was doing. They saw the importance of it, and they said, fine, if you want to be an independent contractor, you know, do this program. I was delighted, absolutely delighted. So even though I'm not on staff, I do not, you know, get a pension. I don't get any of the benefits. There's a small stipend that you receive. Very small stipend. And this is my job. This is what I do. And I love it. I really do enjoy what I do. Okay. So we start at what age? What what age is too young? (sighs) Too young is... When I get pre-K kindergarten, it's basically, for me, it's bring the dog in and let the children pet the dog. Mm -hmm. That's fine because when I bring them in, I can teach them how to pet. 
And that's very, very important. A lot of children get bitten because they don't know how to pet. Face in. For, they and put face the and face. face in. They put the hand out in front. And then I go from there through high school right into adult groups. I remember one adult group was called the uh, Ferndale Roadrunners. Mm -hmm. And they had me come in and do a senior group and, and do a program for them. I go wherever I'm wanted. I am the worst offender with, I mean, I've taught my daughter the right way, but I am the worst offender myself because I just, I trust dogs and uh, for cute. the most part. And they're, they're cute, you know. and, and I understand that. I don't have that problem as much with adults mm -hmm. as I do with children because while they're sticking their hands out, children are usually screaming. And every day I'll go into a school and the first thing I do is I go into the office to let them know I'm here naturally. Mm -hmm. And there are always children either in the office or outside the office. And the first thing they do is start to scream. Oh, no, cute dog. And children are jumpy and, and high energy. And, and it's they're everything. jumping right. around. And it scares the dog. They run to the dog with the hand. Right. And if you don't have a dog that knows what these children want to do, the dog, may, do, react and the bite. dog may react and right. turn around and bite. Right. So that's the very first thing. We have the first lesson right out in the hallway. All right. Well, hold that thought on the first lesson, and maybe I will learn to not to do what I do. <laughs> this is Donna Cole on the 1430 Connection. We will be right back. Welcome back to the 1430 Connection. I am Donna Cole. In the studio with me is Candy Nilsson and her French Bulldog Angel. Candy is a Humane Education Director for Anne Arundel County Police Department and Animal Control Section. And Angel is a perfectly well-behaved French Bulldog who's as cute as can be. And I broke all the rules, naturally, <laughs> when I saw Angel, you know, down, face and face, hand out. This is what you teach kids and adults not to do. Exactly. And I also teach them to always ask. Before they pet any dog on a leash, I teach them to ask, is it all right if I may pet your dog? Right. And we go on from there, you know, depending on the age. Uh, when we get into high school, when we get into middle school, the older children, besides talking to them a little bit about, you know, the hands and, and the permission, they want to know a lot of deeper information. They want to know about euthanasia. They want to know what our animal control officers do. Um, they want to know, I've had people say, well, you take these dogs in the back and shoot them. Uh, what do you do with the dogs when they get there? Uh, do they only You're, you're have... talking about dogs that have been deemed aggressive. Exactly. And, well, well and that, not only, um, just dogs that, that may not, be don't at large. The officer picks them up. They come to the shelter. The children think, a lot of children think, that as soon as they come to the shelter, we take them in the back and euthanize them. And, and we do not do that. As a matter of fact, we have a very, very low euthanasia. Uh, we have a marvelous director, and we have a low euthanasia rate. There are some dogs, they are aggressive to the point where they cannot be adopted out. Mm -hmm. And this is understood. And anybody who is realistic and works with dogs knows that. You talk about euthanasia and how it's done at Anne Arundel County Animal Control. It's not done often. It's done for aggressive... Aggressive dogs or sick dogs. Sometimes owners will bring in their dogs that are ill and ask us to put their dogs down. And that is a service we provide. I had no idea, actually. Yeah. That, that's interesting. Yeah. See, this is something, you know, I bring my dog to my veterinarian. Mm -hmm. There are some people that can't afford. can't afford it, and they will bring the, the dog or the cat uh, to animal control. And will you and allow them is, to be present for the euthanasia? Uh, yes. Yes. I had no idea. So, um, you know, that it, it, it's a service. Mm -hmm. It's a service, and it's a hard thing. It's a hard thing to do, but it is the best thing you can possibly do to honor your dog. Right. To make well, it. Well, if the dog is dying and they're in exactly. pain. Exactly. If yeah. they're in pain, it's all about quality of life. Okay. It's all about quality of life. All right. So b back to this, the schools. You go to all Anne Arundel County public Anybody, schools? Anybody. I send out every October. Uh -huh. I wait until the new teachers get back into their routine. And then every October, I send out a letter to 
every school in the county. Are you sending out uh, letters to private yes, schools as well? Yes. Okay. Uh, to St. Martin's, uh, to Indian Creek. I've been to Indian Creek many, many times. Okay. Uh, different private schools. All right, good. That I will. Uh, also, church groups, uh -huh. surprisingly. Um, Annapolis Christian, th schools like that. And I will send my letter out. Then it is up to the principal. Some principals do not want me in their school. They, they, even though I explain to the teachers that they must send a letter home to the parents, letting them know that there will be a dog present mm -hmm. in case of allergies, I carry my own insurance policy. Uh, covering the county, covering the Board of Education, covering me, covering Angel. And um, some principals just do not want me. That's fine. Yeah, I don't I don't understand it, but I, I don't either. But there okay. are some principals who are afraid of dogs themselves. Like when I started, I could understand because my therapy dog was a 155 pound bull mastiff. Mm -hmm. And I always used to have funny hats on her for that reason, because she's intimidating looking. Right. They don't know she's a marshmallow. Right. And um, she had different hats for different occasions, just so that the children would laugh and the principal would laugh. Now, some of the teachers that I started with are now principals. Some of them have retired. They welcome you an angel with open arms. Some of them yeah. will, some of them won't. Yeah. So I leave it up to them. If they pass it on, if they pass on my brochure to a teacher and the teacher calls me, then I work with them. I work with their schedule. Some of them want me in a science curriculum. Some of them want me in an English curriculum. I am very flexible. I'll How about do whatever. people that just have kids or even adults that are scared of dogs? Do you do house calls? Will you meet them? I will. will. I will do anything anybody needs to make their, um, how would I say it, to make their, their life. interaction with pets to make it easier for them. Uh, I deal with cats. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are afraid of cats. A lot of people think that they're the devil. A lot of, you know, it goes on and on and on. When we go to a nursing home, it's a completely different thing. We're there to keep these people company, to be on their laps, to give That's them awesome, some right. kind of pleasure in petting a dog. And you can see Angel is Angel is just She's perfect. Great. All right. We're going to take another short break. When we come back, more about what our Humane Education Director does here in Anne Arundel County. This is Donna Cole on the 1430 Connection. We will be right back. Welcome back to the 1430 Connection. This is Donna Cole. In the studio with me today is Candy Nilsson. She's the Anne Arundel County Police Department slash Animal Control Section Humane Education Director. And with her is Angel, who is a perfectly mannered French bulldog who goes around with her to schools, to assisted living centers, to you name it, helping people overcome their fear of dogs and teaching others how to approach dogs and how to pet them. Uh, explain the difference, because a lot of people don't know this, about a dog that's restrained versus a dog that's free and running around uh, and how approachable they are. Because a dog on a leash will not react necessarily the same way. The as same way. Yeah. Uh, that's part of the safety section of the lesson that I teach the children. Because many times they will encounter a dog at large, a dog that's running loose. Mm -hmm. That's what that means. Uh, they are out in their playground. They're out in their neighborhood. And all of a sudden, here comes this dog. It might be a big dog. And every person's reaction, I mean, this is a natural reaction, is to run. And that's probably the worst thing you could do when you see a dog, because the dog's natural instinct is to chase you. Because uh, you any become, animal, yeah, right? You, you become you, prey right. to them. Even though if it's a sweetheart of a dog, they still will chase you. Right. I had one second grade boy tell me he was going to run to Chicago. <laughs> He's probably still on the road. And, uh, <laughs> but what I teach them is to stand still. Uh, be a tree. Put your, you know, your hands underneath your chin. Stand still. Lower your eyes. Don't look at the dog. And Angel is invaluable because Angel will respond to the command, go check. Right. And what she does is she goes around and sniffs everybody. 
everybody's shoes. I try to make the lesson funny for the children. They'll remember that if right. it's funny. And I'll say something like, oh, she's looking for baloney. Do you have baloney in your shoe? You know, and the children laugh, but they remember right. to stand still. And I tell them, this is what a dog will do to you. He wants, he wants to get information. Right. And we go through this whole lesson with her sniffing everybody's feet. And they remember this. Do not run. Do not run. Stand still. If you're not moving around, the dog is not really interested in you. There are always exceptions. And I tell them that. There is absolutely nothing I can do to guarantee that they will never be bitten. Mm -hmm. There, there's no such thing because each dog is different the same way each person is different but this is the best way we and know. And no stereotyping of breeds. Act, absolutely not. I've been bit more often than by, by Labradors than I have by any other Labradors, breed. Yeah. Cocker Spaniels, I mean we, we get them all. So it's not so much about the breed. With the children it's more about the size. Right. And I try to explain to them it doesn't matter the size. You just stand still. Don't look at the dog. I teach them what to do if they're knocked off their bike, to lay down, uh -huh. put your, protect your, your neck. And as I said, I try to make it funny. And I tell the children, listen, if a dog is going to bite you anyway, I'd rather he bite you on your butt. And they get hysterical laughing, but they remember. And we've had an argument, one of the other, um, as a matter of fact, a Baltimore uh, director of uh, Humane Education and myself, mm -hmm. we have had this contention back and forth, back and forth. She thinks that you're supposed to be very serious in front of the children and you're always supposed to wear gray. Oh no, and kids you're always respond to not serious, to light, and to yeah. funny. Anything yeah. that's funny, anything that, that makes them giggle, right. makes them laugh. I'm with you. I, I'm with you. Bright your colors. Okay, they so love it. how do people get a hold of you if they want you to come to a presentation? Call the shelter. Which the number, the number is? is 410 222 mm-hmm ask them for the humane educator and the people at the shelter will then get in touch with me okay very and good. i will call them back um i work with all kinds of teachers scout groups mm -hmm. a lot of scout masters i go to their home i go in the evening i go on the weekends whatever they need i work with them and Angel is more than willing to work with them, too. Angel will she, work with she anybody. She's she never protested, has she? Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Angel is all about love. Give her some love, and she's Absolutely. happy. But be careful how you do that with other dogs. Not every dog is approachable. I use, by the way, I have two dogs, one of one of whom is a sweetheart and loves everybody. The other one is scared to death of everything. Mm -hmm. And that will come out the wrong way to some. Yes. And so I use a yellow ribbon on his uh oh, on, wonderful on his leash and do you want to explain what a yellow ribbon is? A yellow on? ribbon means do not approach. Right. That's what that means. And a lot of people don't know that. They think it's a decoration. It is not. It is a signal to you that this dog is not good with people approaching them. And it's not necessarily they not are aggressive. Mean dogs, not aggressive. But they can turn that way if they're scared. Exactly. So, exactly. uh, yes, keep that in mind. If you see a yellow ribbon on a leash or a collar, please do not approach. Be careful. And know if you have a dog like that, put a yellow ribbon on their collar or their Absolutely. leash. Absolutely. Absolutely. That, that is common sense. And I would like to get that out to more people to understand what that yellow ribbon is. A lot of people, they equate that with the military coming home. Right. And we have to change that because, right? yes, yes, exactly. All right, Candy, thank you very much for joining me today. Oh, it was a pleasure. Thank you for inviting oh, us. Oh, Angel, you too. You've been wonderful. This is Donna Cole on the 1430 Connection. We will see you next week.